In Jesus' name, grace and peace be with you all. Good morning, beautiful creations. Um, I want to say maybe like a week ago or so, I had shared a video on how I was instructed by God to read the book of Job, in which I did, and um, for many reasons. I've discovered for many reasons I was told to read that book. And uh, there's a lot of wisdom in that book. But one of the things that I would like to share in reading the book of Job is to, and I wrote it down, you know, when we suffer afflictions, we must submit to God in all entirety not plead against or complain to God. Instead, exalt his greatness. Have confidence in exercising your faith and trust in the Almighty I am. Know that his Holy Spirit is present and there to comfort you in every way, motivating you to stay in the light of God, the goodness of God. Um, I write in a couple of days, actually, for the past couple of days, I've shared a couple of videos um, on things that I have observed. And when I speak, when I make these videos and I share them, I don't, I'm not talking about everybody. Okay. You know, there is a global thing going on out here. You know, there are a lot of bad things going on, no doubt. But, and more than good. But there are great things out there, too. So I don't mean, you know, everyone has issues. <laughs> okay. But there is a lot going on out there. And I am always been one to share awareness. I've always and I, I don't know, in interviews, I've always mentioned that that's the kind of rapper I've always wanted to be was an awareness rapper. Um. And I want to say, by the way, I want to send my love and shout outs to Edward Saunders, AJ Love, and Edward Thomas Jr. But what? You know what I mean by that. I like to get into conversation with, um, I don't like to refer to people as a fan base, but more as people who support me, who show love and appreciation, and I in terms of share that love and appreciation as God intended us to uh, always been that way um, so I'm just curious Edward Thomas Jr. but what let's talk and Melanie Taylor made you have a wonderful day she's always constantly in communication as well um, there are so many. And believe me, I'm very familiar with your names and I'll be shouting out those names through t throughout time as I, you know, share these videos. But read the book of Job. Uh, there's a lot, a lot that you can learn from that. It's not just about faith, but when we go through calamities, things, hard times, we um, we need to still exalt God because God's hands are in everything. And we need to trust that because God's hands are in everything, it is going to be all right. Like that song with Bob Marley, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Yeah. I, I picture God's voice saying that in my head when I hear that song. But, um, yeah, we really need to know that. We still need to praise God even through hard times. Not just good times when things are great and when God is blessing us. But when we're going through it. We need to still get on our knees and exalt God and know and trust and have faith 
that God's Holy Spirit is there to come for us, to guide us. When Jesus, the Son of God, died on the cross, that was one of the things Jesus said right before he died, was that he was releasing his Holy Spirit to us. So, it is important that we live in the Spirit and that's what it means to live in the Spirit, is allowing the Holy Spirit to, to guide you, to teach you, and to kill that flesh, that carnal way of thinking, and live in the Spirit. Because when you live in the Spirit, you will live forever. And um, I pray... We all have a great day to come. We are blessed to have this day. I enjoy speaking to you all. And uh, please feel free to voice yourself as well. Um, I like getting interacting and getting into conversations respectfully. Okay? So, love you guys. Have a good day. God bless.